We've been having a boat blessing for over 80 years. The boat blessing has always been in the month of April and May before the, uh, the May shrimp season opened. Years ago, the boat blessing was in August before the white shrimp season would, would open. Boats are the Bayou, Bayou Barataria, Lafita. We had parties. When you had a boat blessing, the boat blessing was about family, friends, the enjoyment of life to where you get your boat blessed, you go trawling. I think, you know, it's like a tradition. I mean, uh, everybody wants to take a ride on a boat and get it blessed. You know, you just don't have that many boats no more, but because people getting out the business and stuff. But it's very important to keep it alive because once it's gone, it's gone, you know? Before you go trawling, you get that boat blessed and you got, on that side, you might have party here, you had big steel halls with bands on and playing, people dancing on top of the cabin. Matter of fact, they used to shut down the bayou because it had a swing bridge and that's where it always was located at. The boats would go down the bayou, up to the current bridge, go through the bridge, get blessed by the priest. And every one of the boats down here, all the shrimp boats, when I say shrimp boats, I'm talking about from Lafitte skiffs, lugger boats, large shrimp boats up to 90 feet long. Everyone would have a live band with live music, ball shrimp, ball crawfish, barbecue, everything. These boats would go out into the lake, park along the banks. They would have parties at 2 o'clock in the morning with the bands playing. Everybody would have fun. Through the years, the tradition has went down, has went down plenty. We don't have as many boats in the bayou. We don't have as many commercial fishermen. Plenty of people's getting out of the fishing industry, and it's turning more to like wave runners out here in the bayou, bass boats. That's, but it's at least we're still trying to keep the boat blessing alive. You know, after Ida, they got a permanent bridge now. But a lot of people don't like to go around, so they don't do it. It seems like every hurricane, a barge hits it, tears it up. They will pay you for it. They will pay you for crab. They will pay you for crawfish. Where's your strip, your Louisiana strip now? You don't have that anymore. Why? That's why you don't see many skip paths. You don't see all these big steel halls, all these luggage. Number one, the price of uh, shrimp. Um, dwindled. I mean, hot dog, a pound of hot dogs cost more than a pound of shrimp. So, I mean, a lot of people had to turn moving into plants, say the restaurant business, um, construction. You know, unfortunately, a lot of people was forced out because of price. Everything goes up but shrimp. You're not going to find a better shrimp than a Louisiana shrimp. It's, you got your sweet season, which is your brown shrimp. You got a white shrimp season, which is a good shrimp, all inside shrimp. You go to another shrimp and try, go to a restaurant and try shrimp. All right, and tell me if it tastes the same thing as the Louisiana shrimp. It never will. We got Louisiana shrimp and they are the best, the very best. I'd like to point out everybody's dedication too, throughout all the rain, it's pouring we down. We still out. And everybody's still out here we're celebrating. We're the gonna live the life. We're gonna keep the tradition alive. Right. So. And right. we love you. Yeah, all right, hey, thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Everybody needs luck, so I mean, getting blessed sure can't hurt it.